Hi, welcome. I just booted up an Arch Linux BXFC minimum. Doesn't matter what uh, Arch Linux it is, it's all the same. They all come from one ISO, and then we build up with different Lego blocks called desktops. So, the issue at hand is Samba. When we update everything, this is not an updated system. As you see, we need to update here some elements. So, if we update our systems, we get Samba in. And Samba has a new version. Let's have a look. It's 4.92.1, and there is also SMB client. A bit further, probably. Here he is. And there's a third, some library I keep forgetting in here in all these libs. There is one for Samba. So, what do you do? You update. Of course, we do it daily business, right? And then you'll see if we now are going to ask for a status system CTL status of Samba, then you'll see everything is green. This is the thing you need to look out for. That doesn't matter down here, but this is active, it's running, it's working, and you can share, and that's the point with Samba. Not everybody needs it. When do you need Samba? When I say on this computer, I have files I want to share with other people at home, father, mother, brother, or sister, in the same network, and then a Samba might come in handy. That's what it's for. So if you don't need it, you can uninstall it, and we will supply a script to completely uninstall Samba. But, so, when we update, we saw we get an error. So we're going to wait for all these packages to install and then come back. So everything installed just fine. After an installation like this, I better do a reboot. So this is green, still green. And now we reboot. new versions are being applied Control alt t arrow up and everything is red so solution for now is say sudo system ctl disable by the way there are more commands than just disable just type tap tap these are all the possible commands you can have with system CTL. So there's still quite a lot to learn. But disable winbind service. Get rid of it. And it is going to delete a symlink. As you can see, it's, it's this one as it's gone. So it will not be booted up again. And you know what? If we reboot, you saw the message up there, Samba, the red message that we are trying to get rid of if you reboot and ask for Samba service again without this windbind service oops and you'll see one up this one and there you go Samba is again active you can again share computers with other computers just uh, we have to wait for this windbind thing and if we shut down you won't see or restart we won't see this uh, message up here that samba is not started or anything so that's the solution for now to get rid of that error and again enjoy your computers no frustrations everything will work